Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today I am going to read the step-by-step -step writing level 1 unit 10 summarize information 요약하기 writing a summary 요약문 쓰기 a summary paragraph citing sources life event family grammar simple tenses subject verb agreement reading section a discuss answer the question report your information to the class section b read read francisco's essay about his grandfather my hero by francisco garcia my hero is enrique ropez enrique ropez was born on october 1st 1945 enrique grew up in a small town in spain he lived with his mother, father, three sisters, and four brothers. And Nikia's family was happy, but they didn't have a lot of money. So, in 1959, and Nikia and his brother Pedro moved to New York. Life was difficult in New York for Pedro and Nikia. Pedro got a job in a restaurant. And Nikia was only 14 years old. So he went to school. In the evenings, Enrique worked with Pedro at the restaurant. In 1963, Enrique graduated from high school. After that, Enrique and Pedro worked hard at the restaurant. They saved their money. In 1966, Enrique and Pedro bought their own restaurant. They called it La Casa Lopez. In 1968, Enrique brought his mother, father, sisters, and brothers to New York from Spain. In 1970, Enrique married Maria Gonzalez. Enrique and his wife had three children, Marco, Luisa, and Berta. Everybody worked together at the restaurant. La Casa Lopez became very successful. Enrique and his family still live in New York. Enrique doesn't work at the restaurant now, but he is very busy. He teaches English classes for new immigrants every afternoon. Next year, he's going to open a cooking school too. He and Pedro are going to teach the classes. And Nike didn't win any big prizes, and he isn't famous. However, many people admire, admire him. He always helps people and he is very kind. And Nikki's daughter Berta is proud of her father. Berta lives in Los Angeles with her husband, son, and daughter. So often she often tells the family about Nikki. That's why Nikki Ropez is my hero. And Nikki Ropez is my grandfather. Section C write captions. Write a sentence from the reading under each picture on page 119. Page 120, Vocabulary. Section A. Find these words and phrases in the reading on page 118. Write the complete sentences. Section B. Unscramble the letters to find family words. Section C. Write five sentences about Francisco's family. Use words from vocabulary activity B and sentences from the reading on page 118. Grammar section A. Answer the questions. Write complete sentences. Use the correct verb tense. Present, past, future. And Nikki lives in New York. He moved to New York. He is going to open a cooking school next year. Section B. Check the subject verb agreement in these sentences. Four sentences are correct. Mark the incorrect sentences. Rewrite the incorrect sentences correctly. I live in Los Angeles. I am going to give cooking lessons. You, we, they. They live in Los Angeles. And Nikki and Pedro are going to give cooking lessons. He, she, it. And Nikki lives in New York. And Nikki is going to open a school next year.
Section C completes a summary. Use the correct forms of the verbs in parentheses. Page 123, organization. A summary, paragraph. 요양문 단락. Re-read the passage on page 118. Take note. Then paraphrase the main ideas in each paragraph. Use your own words. Remember, a summary paragraph tells the main ideas and the important details from a longer passage. The topic sentence sums up the main point of the passage. Then the writer retells the information in the same order as the passage. However, the writer uses his or her own words. This is called the paraphrasing. Writing conventions. Citing sources. Label the source citation with words from the box. Remember box. Good writer, writers always tell where they got the information. They cite their source. For published sources, you must include title, author, publisher information, copyright date, page number. For example, The History of the Civil Rights Movement by Blaine, Reggie, Heine and Heine, 2006, page 26 to 29. Page 124, Writing a Summary. A summary gives the facts and main ideas from a longer passage or story. Writers often summarize research information from encyclopedias, reference books, and other source resources. They only include the information that is important to the topic. Section A, read. Read the encyclopedia entry about Rosa Parks. The biography of Rosa Parks. Rosa Louis McCauley was born on February 4, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. In 1924, at age 11, Rosa moved to Mon Montgomery, Alabama to study. She went to the industrial school for girls. Five years later, Rosa quit school to help her grandmother. In 1932, Rosa married Raymond Parks. Rosa's husband encouraged Rosa to finish school. She graduated from high school in 1933. Rosa's husband Raymond was an active member of the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. NAACP members supported civil rights. They wanted black people and white people to be treated equally. However, at the time, black people and white people were often segregated. They did not eat in the same restaurants. They did not ride the bus together. On buses, white people sat in the front of the bus. Black people stood or sat in the back of the bus. Rosa Parks thought this was wrong. So, in 1943, she joined the NAACP. On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks changed America. She boarded a bus and sat down. Soon, a white man got on the bus. The bus driver asked Rosa to move. Rosa Parks was tired from working all day. She said no. The police came and arrested Rosa. The black people of Alabama were very angry. They stopped riding buses. The bus companies lost a lot of money. Finally, the segregation laws were changed. Black people could see where they wanted to. Rosa Parks died in 2005, but many people still admire her. Admire her. She is often thought to be one of America's strongest and bravest civil rights activists. Rosa's actions helped Americans to understand that Black people and white people should have equal civil rights. Because of this, Rosa Parks is sometimes called the mother of the civil rights movement. Section B, find the information. Writing prompt, purpose, summarize information. 
Look up a famous hero in an encyclopedia or reference book. Write a one paragraph summary of the information you find. Tell where and when the person was born. Give date for two or more important events in the person's life. Include the main details about one important thing the person did. Step 1. Pre-write. -pre Read your reference page, then look at Don's reading chart. Make your own chart. Read your information again. Find the main ideas from each paragraph. Step 2. Organize. Look at Don's sentence organizer. Copy the organizer or make one on your computer. Paraphrase your notes. Complete the organizer with sentences for your biography. Step 3. Draft and revise. Don's first draft. Step 4. Edit. Practice. Edit. Peer edit. Group writing. Topic 1. Write a story about the picture. Tell about the characters, setting, and action. Topic 2. Research one of the people below. Write a one paragraph summary of their life. Abraham Lincoln, Martin Luther King Jr., and friends. Writing prompt 1. Choose one writing prompt. Complete the writing task in 45 minutes. Don't panic. Sometimes even good writers can think during a test. Put down your pencil, relax, then start again. Thank you. You have a question. The end.